Hi everyone, it's Caitlin with Kate's Collectibles and I have a bit of a different review for you today. Today I'm going to be talking about my uh, Pulip doll. So when I was in Japan, I went to Kitty Land and I was overwhelmed by the number of cute ball joint dolls that they had there. And I decided on this particular Pulip doll because I didn't have an Alice doll in my collection. So Pulip is a ball joint doll maker. I believe they're quite popular throughout Asia. Um, they usually have this very like big head, big eye look. You might be familiar with the name if you've been following the Pulip line of Sailor Moon dolls that they've been doing. They're really beautiful, very expensive dolls. So I managed to uh, look up a little bit of information on my particular one because I just grabbed her off the shelf when I was there. This one is the Regeneration series Alice doll. Pulip has done, when I did my research, just an absolute ton of different Alice dolls uh, from Alice in Wonderland. They've got the classic doll, they've got a sepia colored one, the mint colored one, a steampunk one, they have the romantic series, they have a pink version of the romantic series, they have an absolute just plethora of Alice dolls. This one I would say is probably maybe the most looking like the Disney character version of Alice, just with the way her dress and apron and everything looks. So that's part of the reason she appealed to me. She does come with a few accessories. I've never even opened her packaging. Uh, so you can see them a little bit here. So I'll try and move them in. Now you can see she has a white rabbit stuffy on the one side there. And I like his little, little jacket there. If I were to take him out, I'd probably tidy him up a little bit, but... And on the other side, we've got her sort of her character card, a set of playing cards with the Joker highlighted. And just above those in that tiny little package there, you can see there's a little tiny key. I'm assuming it's the key to get through the door. And then you can see her stand there. And her teeny, 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 tiny feet. One of the things that I find really quite cute about these dolls is that they have these little itty bitty feet to support these absolutely gigantic heads that they have. Now with Alice, she's done in a very classic look for what you'd think of as an Alice character. Um, I like the way they've painted on the eyebrows. She has really big blue eyes. And her lips are sort of a, I guess, an orangish tint to them. A little bit peach. Now in the packaging her hair is separated almost into two pigtails uh, but if you were to take her out you'd you'd take the ties off that and spread it out so she's got the long very sort of straight looking locks and she does have a headband on at the top there that's a little bit difficult to see. Now part of the reason I've kept her completely in her packaging is because I was actually looking uh, originally once the Sailor Moon dolls came out I was thinking about if I found someone that collects these using her as a trade, um, I wanted to get the Serenity Pulip doll specifically, although the new Human Luna one that they've announced is really quite nice. So something I've been keeping in mind. You'll see with the Pulip packaging here, she's got this very uh, kind of a romantic looking packaging to it. Lots of ribbons, flowers, the little silhouettes, the P for Pulip. the back here nothing too special about the back uh basically some warnings they do make a note that this is a collector's item for ages 15 and up so these dolls aren't intended to be uh dolls that you would play with they really are just intended for people to look at pose put out on their stands or keep in the boxes as we go around so same thing on the other side of her box nothing too special going on there on the top as well it's basically the same so we've got p for pulip the silhouette more of the flowers and ribbons and such and same thing on the bottom So basically I just wanted to highlight this is a bit of a unique item in my collection. She's kind of a 
placeholder doll for the 17 inch Disney Store Alice doll because the price on her uh, through places like eBay is absolutely insane. So I really like this doll. Uh, maybe one day I'll take her out of the package if I decide that I'm not going to potentially trade her away. Do you collect Pulip dolls? If you do, let me know which one is your favorite or, or what line of these dolls I should be looking at. I like the fairy tale characters, but maybe there's something more that I haven't seen. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and you can find me on Twitter at Kate Collectible. Thanks!